tarantula. <laughs> a tarantula. No, oh, that ain't no tarantula. Look, it made me spill a box. So... Yeah. Here, I got an idea. This is how you do a spider delete kit. No, don't. Ready? Set. Hide it. There. It's not dead. It's probably. No, it's dead. It is definitely smashed dead. Holy crap. This is. It's crazy. What is up guys? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. Starting off the video. You spilled my bullets everywhere. Actually, those are your bullets. Yeah, it's my for her gun. Anyways guys, so we are back here with another video for you guys. Obviously, that's a pretty obvious statement because you're watching the video. But um, anyway, so Reagan is here working on her DB build. She's going to be trying to do some work to that today. So hopefully, we can get her helped out with that so she can get that done. Um, and then also, I want to talk to you guys about an, a new build that we're going to be doing on the channel. We've already got the truck and I want to tell you what we're going to do with it and why we're going to do it and I think a lot of you guys might really like this and it might be a way more relatable build to a lot of my younger audience. So thank you guys so much. Stay tuned. I think you guys are going to like this. And of course you guys do not forget that you guys can enter to win this truck every five dollars. I can't make the five thing because I'm holding something, but every five dollars is one entry to win last 18 days to enter to win this truck get in while you can oh blue lightning blue lightning what's your thoughts on the chevy babe takes me back to the good old days takes you back to the good old days what good old days of the s10 days oh the s10 days yeah, interior was a pretty standard thing back then. It was like just lots of plastic, the same radio, the same dials, you know, keeping it simple, GM. The old rollers manual, working us to death in here. I mean, we gotta do everything ourselves these days. No cruise control, you gotta keep using your dang foot. You gotta roll the freaking windows up and down. Okay, so we're about to go grab some food. I'm hungry, she's hungry. We gotta get, get something to eat, and then we're gonna head over to the farm, and we're gonna check some trail cam pictures for some deer activity because we have not when's the last time we checked those camera pictures Probably. it's been at least a month it's been a long time and the problem Remember with archery came in because we didn't want to go back there and speak anymore. yeah so it's been it's been at least a month we're gonna go check out these pictures and see what kind of deer activity we got going on and i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to show you guys any of the pictures but i'll let you know what we see we haven't checked them in a while but last time i did check them we had a couple really nice bucks that were moving through the property on a pretty much a weekly basis, but they weren't like every single day active. So, you know, uh, but we're gonna actually drive the truck back there because the deer are less scared of a vehicle driving back on the edge of a field than they are just us sneaking through the brush trying to check a camera. You're way more likely, at least around here, to spook a deer doing that than you are just driving back on the edge of the field and checking them because they, they look at a vehicle as like a normal thing that they see in their day-to-day -day life because they're literally surrounded by like additions and people mowing their lawns, running tractors, like all year long. So these deer are pretty conditioned to that kind of stuff and it makes it a lot easier for us too because we can drive back there, check them, drive out. So anyways, we're gonna get that down, we're gonna go check on that stuff and then we're gonna get into the topic of the new truck build for the channel. Let's see if we can, uh, see if we can get old blue lightning here and revved up. This is horsepower right here, Literally. cranking it up. I know, right? This thing is actually like a freaking blast to drive though because we get to put miles on this instead of like our nice builds, you know? Good old exhaust leak, eh? <laughs> no, man, that ain't no exhaust leak. Well, here we are off-roading again, out here in the Chevy. Doing good, so far so good. This thing is pretty slick though. It's got the four-wheel drive lever right here on the ground, which of course, all these old four-wheel drive Chevys have that, but it's actually like super user-friendly and it works really good. I'm actually really like surprised at how good this truck runs and drives and everything works like it should. Yeah. Here's the, uh, here's the big test we have for every truck here. It's really not even like a huge, it's not like, like a huge steep grade, but it is kind of like, um, it, it does it does test the traction on the truck. That, let's just say that. It does test the traction and capabilities and the clearance because it is kind of a steep grade to go up. 
We'll see if it can do it in two-wheel drive once it gets the tires wet. Water. Like nothing, two-wheel drive. And this is literally how close we can get with the truck to check our cameras. That way we don't have to get out and put boots all over the ground. Okay, so, so far, what have we seen on the cameras, Reagan? What's the status? Anything decent? We saw an eight-pointer that keep coming out. He's basically mostly nocturnal, but uh, the earliest he came out was what, like 7.30 a.m.? No, like 7 first shot? Uh, 7 a.m. Oh, 7 a.m.? Or like 6.50 a.m. But he's showing close. up consistent, so that's a good thing, because all we need is him to chase a doe and come out. And then we saw a very small glimpse of Skyscraper, which is teasing. I know he's doing it on purpose. I feel like it, but um, that's still a good sign that he's not completely gone. I think it's because they took down the beans, and now he's wanting alfalfa, you think? Yeah, I think that's why um, he's more over on here right now. And But, but we'll see. Hopefully when it gets cooler... Um, he'll come out with the doe because there's a lot of does on here, lots lot of doe of pictures. Yeah. And uh, when it comes rut, he's gonna be looking for one, maybe a couple. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> but um, a lot of doe pictures, a lot of doe action, and then we've got about two or three shooter bucks on camera right now that are. I only give our number of shooter bucks on camera, like even count them in if they're like regulars on the property, if they're like they don't show up ever i don't really count them as like a shooter deer that's regularly on the land but it's walking through. yeah i mean we have a whole bunch of smaller bucks and we have a couple bucks that are decent that show up once in a blue moon but regulars on the property probably three three solid deer now so we're gonna check one last camera we got one more to check and then um that's gonna be wrapping it up for the camera pictures the new build for the channel is right here we got a 1997 chevy 1500 with a 305 Chevy in it, okay? Automatic, four wheel drive. Now you're probably wondering like, dude, we already know you have this truck. This isn't like a big reveal and I understand that, but we've done, you know, we've done a lot of different builds on the channel, but we've never done something quite like this. So Reagan, why is this build gonna be different than stuff that we've done before? Let's have a real talk here. So we've done, you know, multiple trucks we've done. We put 20 grand into trucks we've done, you know, newer trucks we have, the 2019 we've, we built like crazy expensive builds, but it's not really realistic. I mean, me personally, my first truck is 4,000, something like this, an S10. And we just want to do a budget build that a lot of you can relate to and show you that you can, you know, take something like this that's not necessarily, you know, a $60,000 truck, but and turn it into something sweet, awesome, and just show off, can customize really basically anything. Have and fun with it. you can build it on a budget. You can make it yeah. extremely practical for what you're gonna do with it. And that's what I told her I wanted to do with just this truck because I'm like, we have the third gen where that we put you know twenty five thousand dollars into. But to be quite realistic, even even for myself, even me, I would not have done that if it wasn't for my business and for my brand. So that's not really something that most people are like. Oh yeah, I'm gonna dump you know twenty five thousand dollars into a truck in one month. It's just not practical. It's not realistic. So. As cool as that is, and we're still gonna be doing stuff like that, we wanted to take a twist and do something that's a little bit different and something that we have never, ever done on this channel. And that is a gasser build that is gonna be budget friendly. I'm talking budget friendly from the tires, from the wheels, to the headlights, the tail lights. I mean, just everything, everything about this truck, even the lift kit is gonna be more budget friendly in mind. Now that does not mean we're going with the absolute cheapest garbage, but it does mean that we're not going to be trying to intentionally spend money on things to try to make it like above and beyond like crazy. It's gonna be built practical. So somebody, you know, that could be watching this video can relate to it as in like, hey, that's something I would do to my truck. I want the basic stuff, basic suspension upgrades, more capable tires, you know, a basic wheel setup that's just gonna make it seem a little bit aftermarket, basic lighting upgrades, you know, stuff like that. So I can have a truck that I can take off road if I need to, I can daily drive it down the road, and the build itself is like under six thousand dollars like start to finish under six grand and i think that's a very like relatable budget to be keeping in mind because for example even me coming out of high school you know like i didn't just have tons of money spending on a truck that's not that was not realistic for me at the time and so i had to keep my budget in mind and so i kept you know factory wheels i did a cheap lift kit i did 35s like i said on stocks 
and I just kept it cheap. But I built the truck that I wanted, and I built it plenty capable within a budget, and that's what we're gonna be doing with this truck right here. I know you guys are thinking, you're thinking, well, this is kind of like, has a little bit of rough spot, so it's not perfect, but you don't necessarily need to start with a truck that, you know, is rust free, it's frame is solid, four wheel drive works, uh, it's just a solid truck all the way around. I mean, it doesn't matter, but this is just like a fun truck to do without a budget. You don't need a ton of money. Let's be honest, no one really cares if you have a little rust spot. I know I have, you know, a little bit of bubbles coming up on Rosie and I like, it drives me crazy, but still people love my truck and they're like, wow, that's amazing. I wish I could own something like that. So don't let rust scare you away from a vehicle because you can still make it really nice. Um, and not for a ton of money. And I will show some customizing on my channel of interior stuff. I want to show you stuff that I did just making something look unique, just awesome, but not spend tons of money. You know, like she said on the rust stuff, the truck's got some rust, okay? It's got a little fender scratch. It's got some little tiny dings here and there. It's got bird crap on the hood, but you know, to be quite realistic with you, do you honestly think every single person out there is buying a perfectly rush-free, clean, immaculate truck and building that? Probably not realistic. So that's why with this truck, it's like the no shame game. We're gonna build this thing the way it is, make it cool, make it practical, and build something that a lot of people can relate to if they're like, hey, you know, I'm fresh out of high school or I'm in high school. I've got, you know, $5,000 saved up and that's it. Like start to finish, I'm gonna be working on my truck over, you know, the next couple years throughout high school. I wanna keep something in the range of 5,000, 6,000 bucks, start to finish. This is for you. We're gonna show you just how cool you can make a truck like this look and drive and function on a very, very conservative budget. So thank you guys so much. Stay tuned, this is gonna be pretty cool. We've already got a ton of stuff on the way. We actually ordered the entire build list that we already came up with this morning. We ordered it all in so we can get started on this truck and it's gonna be like a start to finish project in about two weeks. Now, is that realistic for everybody? Not necessarily, but we're just trying to show you guys with the budget cap in mind that is more realistic. For a lot of the younger people in the audience, this is how cool the truck really could look. A truck like this in that price range for this amount of money spent. Hopefully you are just as excited as I am to see this truck go from like, eh, to pretty freaking cool within these next two weeks. If you are, leave a fat thumbs up. Let me know down in the comment section below. What do you think about this build? I know that this isn't something normal, but I think it's something that a lot of people might relate to. And that's why it's just gonna be kind of like more of a short term build, but I think it's gonna be kind of cool. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget to enter to win my 2019 Ram 3500, because hey, let's just say this, winning an $80,000 truck for $5, is still cheaper than even building this truck for 6,000. Anyways, guys, thanks so much. Information in the description below. You guys are awesome. Catch you in the next video. Peace. And four door first gen there, all son. <laughs> what do you think about that? That's cool. Yeah, yeah.